Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the Tinker Cave. Today we will take a look at all of you guys who don't have a 3D printer and might be confronted with the decision of should I buy a 3D printer or should I build one myself? And building a printer not in the case of building a kit just starting from scratch to build your own 3D printer. So myself I started with a book. It is in German so for all the German folks out there I will link the book in the description below. And my first 3D printer was really really simple. It was mainly made out of wood because I couldn't uh, get any 3D printed parts or I didn't knew where to get 3D, 3D printed parts. Of course you can get all parts on pages like 3D hubs and all of them. But I didn't knew that at this point, it was last year in kind of November. So I got this book about building a 3D printer from scratch and mainly used uh, wood for this and well kind of used the tools of my father to build this printer. The quality of the printer was uh, looking back at it really bad. <laughs> you could see all the layers, the parts came out pretty bad in terms of quality but it was really reliable so every almost every print I wanted to print came out. It didn't had some errors and uh, well I was quite happy with it. So then I decided to use my old printer and upgrade it to the Hypercube. You can all see the Hypercube build videos in my channel. And I was really happy with this. So the Hypercube was a major, major, major improvement to my old printer I made from scratch. So I was then at a point where I wanted to improve the quality even further. So I bought the Prusa i3 kit and the quality is pretty amazing. So short story. Um, what I want to say. Building your printer from scratch is a huge factor in terms of what you can learn. I learned a lot about electronics, uh, soldering, uh, machining. It was a huge, huge um, learning process for me and I wouldn't miss that. Although the issue is for my first printer I, I invested some money and then for the upgrade to the Hypercube I also invested some money. So I came literally to about 500 euros to build my first printer and to, then to upgrade into the Hypercube. And that's the point where you have to think about the kits today, the 3D printer kits are so cheap. Yeah, you can get kits for under 200 dollars, 200 euros, doesn't really matter. And you can achieve pretty good print quality. The Prusa i3, I bought the kit is 730 euros. So the gap between my old printer and the Hypercube Upgrading to the uh, Prusa i3 kit isn't that much. So, looking back, I would miss uh, the learning process. It was very, very nice and it also helped me to uh, build the Prusa kit. Also, there's an awesome instruction. But I can understand if you don't really know, should I? make one to learn or should I buy one to just print things in awesome quality. Depends on yourself. If you never touched a 3D printer before, I would recommend you to buy a kit, a cheap kit and then to upgrade. But you always have to remember, do not expect the awesome quality you can see in this channel or in other channels about like kits like the Prusa i3 on your cheap 
uh, China kit, like the ANET A8 or something. But if you see that you're not interested in 3D printing anymore, then your investment of a cheap kit isn't that big as you buy a Prusa i3 uh, right off the box. So you have to see if 3D printing is something for you. Start with a small kit and then if you can if you see you're really interested in 3d printing then i would recommend to upgrade um, your printer to the next level but before that you always can improve your kit because all of the kits uh, are open source and you can find uh, modifications on thingiverse and print out improvements so i think if you want to start with 3d printing Buy a kit, start tinkering around, start to modify your 3D printer to get into the 3D printing to learn the basics. Only by watching videos you won't learn that much. And then upgrade. I wouldn't recommend you to start with a 2000 euro, 2000 dollar 3D printer or 1000 dollar 3D printer unless you have. Um, a company environment and you want to print a uh, good quality right off the box. So that's my conclusion and a uh, little background for you about where I came from. I hope this video helped you and as always um, feel free to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, uh, ring the bell besides the subscribe button to be notified about new videos and Watch my other videos of course, uh, thank you for watching again and goodbye, have a nice day.